Welcome to our introduction video on installing our stretch fabric system, FabricWall. I'm Herb Golterman, president of FabricWall, and we will be covering the basic tools for installing track, core, and tucking fabric with our FabricWall system. Let's get started. The basic hand tools that you provide are shown here. Scissors, tape measure, razor blade, stapler, screw gun, file, hammer, and a one and one half inch putty knife. These are not supplied by FabricWall. The black handle tools shown on the table are available from FabricWall. The rocker, flat, and bent blades are all used to tuck fabric into the track. Having a one and one half inch putty knife is helpful when tucking fabric in tight spaces. To cut the track, you will need a eight or 10 inch miter saw. The blade should be ultra thin for cutting plastic with 200 teeth per blade. We recommend the Magna 10 inch with a plywood blade, not a carbide tip blade. The stapler shown in the left hand side of the table is used to install the track when you have a drywall installation. We recommend using a 3 8 inch crown stapler such as a Senko SLS 25XD. This stapler uses 3 8 inch wide, 1 inch long staples that are 18 gauge such as the Senko M13BRB. Now we begin the layout of the track to determine its location on the wall. Today we're going to be doing a four panel layout with two panels above and two panels below. Lay out the lines of the four panels using a laser, snap line, level, and a pencil. You should lay out the perimeter walls and any mid-wall track that you have on the job. It's very important to get the vertical lines plumb and the horizontal lines level. Now we move to pre-wrapping. Pre-wrapping fabric walls perimeter track is generally not required as the tucking edge of our perimeter track is recessed so there's no need to pre-wrap. If the edge of the track is exposed then pre-wrapping is required. Cut the track to length and miter all the corners before applying the fabric. After this is done, cut three inch strips of fabric the length of the track that requires pre-wrapping. Once the track is ready, you should spray adhesive 3M77 on the side and bottom of the track. Adhesive should not be sprayed on the face of the track. Adhere the side and bottom of the track to the fabric by rolling it on the fabric. Make sure you place the face of the fabric down when doing this. Once the fabric is adhered, use a tucking tool, there is a roller blade shown, to tuck the fabric in the track. Cut off any pieces of fabric with your scissors once the fabric is fully tucked. Cut the remaining pieces of perimeter track starting at an outside corner of the perimeter. Cut miters at all perimeter track corners tight with no gap, as shown in the drawing. Install all the track with staples placed one quarter to one half inch apart. Screws should be used at every stud location. When creating space for a mid-wall track to intersect the perimeter track, there should be a one eighth inch space left between the two pieces of perimeter track to allow for mid-wall joint. Once the perimeter track is completed, the mid-wall track is then installed. Mid-wall track must be mitered on both sides to fit into the space allowed by the perimeter track. Now the mid-wall track is being installed into the gap created in the perimeter track. Once it is properly aligned with the perimeter track, the mid-wall track is stapled and screwed the same way as the perimeter track. Different angled staples every one quarter to half inch and screws every stud. Shimming or sanding the mid-wall joint might be required to get all of the faces to align. This detail shows four pieces of mid-wall track intersecting to create a four-way corner. Leave 1 16th inch between each track. As you can see, each piece of track is double mitered. This will create four different fabric panels. Now we are moving to the core installation. Cut the acoustical core 3 16 inch larger than the panel size to ensure there are no gaps between the core and the track. Use a straight edge to accurately cut the core. Back cut the core with a long razor knife at a 45 degree angle 
with the face of the core down. The drawing shows how the core will be fit in under the edge of the track when we go to install it. The core installs into each track opening by placing the panel in its location and then pressing the panel into place by pushing the edge of the core under the track. By cutting the core oversize and back mitering the edge, the panel will now stay in place without adhesive or mechanical fasteners. Mechanical fasteners are required for sealing installations. The core and track are now installed. We are ready to start tucking the fabric. Start the fabric installation by cutting each piece of fabric using your scissors or razor knife six inches larger in both width and height than the panel size. After you have cut the fabric, make sure you mark the face of the fabric with a piece of tape and if the fabric is directional, the direction of the fabric. Starting at the top, tuck the fabric into the center of the track, leaving three inches of extra fabric above the panel. Continue to tuck the fabric on alternating sides out to the corners. There should be two inches of extra fabric hanging out of the track when you are done. Be sure to keep the fabric warp, weave, and pattern straight as you tuck the fabric. Once the top is tucked, move to the bottom of the panel and repeat the process starting in the middle of the bottom track. Tuck the sides of the panel the same way as the top and bottom. Always start in the middle of each track section and work alternating sides until you reach the edge of the panel. Take special care at the corners to avoid ripping or distorting the fabric. When the panel is fully tucked, Double check the warp, weave, and pattern of the fabric to ensure it is straight and consistent. If needed, pull the fabric out and retuck it so it is straight and without distortions. Trim the excess fabric with scissors, leaving about a quarter inch of fabric remaining. Finally, tuck this quarter inch of remaining fabric using a fabric wall tucking tool into the track. Take care at the corners to avoid distorting or tearing the fabric. Using a small tucking tool here or a putty knife can help. The final step is to use your scissors to trim away any loose threads along the track. Once this is done, the installation is complete. Please contact us if you want more information about fabric wall products or installation techniques. We have experienced installers on staff who can help with training, advice, or installations.